Halal, halal, halal. Right, what is going on everybody, and welcome back to some more of the Rodale here. So we are now uh, continuing with Black Ops 3 Zombies, as I said, there are 14 maps altogether because I am doing the Zombie Chronicle map, so therefore I'm replaying a lot of the maps that I've already played to try and see if I can better the round. Of course, I already played the Giant, which is obviously uh, a remake of Darice. Obviously, I got round 17 on Darice, but I got round 25 on the Giant. Nactor and Totem, I got round 13. Uh, so I need to try and see if I can get better. Verrector got round 9, which I'm confident that I will get better. Shino Nubra, I got 25, so I'm trying to match that. Kino Dutton, I got round 25, I'm trying to match that. Ascension, I got round 25, I'm trying to match that. Shangri-La, I got round 16, so I want to try and see if I can do better than that. Moon, I got round 12, so I want to do better than that. And Origins, I got round 25, so I'm trying to match that. Anyway, Nactar and Totem, let's go. This will be obviously a bit of a shorter episode than the uh, the last couple because they've been quite lengthy. This obviously map's a lot smaller. Um, but yeah. Hey, look at that, we're back to where we started. So yeah, round 13 it was on World at War, of course. Now, if you're wondering why I'm not doing the, uh, uh, why I'm not doing the, um, Black, like I didn't do the Black One versions of Nactar and Totem, Varuk, Shino, Numa, and Darice, the reason why is because those maps are literally identical. The only difference is, is that the weapons in the box are Black Ops 1 weapons. The war weapons in the Black Ops 1 version are the same. They're the exact same. As they were previously. So. Yeah, so the other... Can Completely the same. I must go knock down. There. Yeah, I 
Let's see what couples am I at. I gotta be shopping for it and shopping for it. Wait, there are three bloody barriers. Oh yeah, the Wonder Stars machine's here though, so we can, <laughs> we can get perks. Yeah, the, the, these maps that I've got like small different, like, well, quite a bit of differences. TGS. Sorry, the STG. Sorry. Good. Uh... That one's exploded already. So yeah, th there's enough differences in the Zombie Chronicle maps. Uh, There's enough differences in this map for it to uh, for these maps, the zombie critical maps, for me to do them. And also, I just l I just like playing them as well. I like playing Black Ops 3 Zombies, so it gives me the excuse to play the uh, play all of them. I mean, or uh, not Origins, sorry. Oh god, now I'm excited to play Origins again. I'm going to do Origins over the different staff, I'm going to do the Fire Staff and I'm going to upgrade it this time. I did actually get the Fire Staff. Get a pack punched gun as well. I'm gonna go with the KN, I think. 1400 points is needed. Or we can go with the CUDA. Or we can go with the KRM. Let's go with the KRM actually. If that was like a pack of bunch of locusts, that would make a little bit more sense.
Oh, jug. It is roulette. The only one that's actually the only pack machine here is mule kick. I mean, that's the only difference in the Black Ops 1 maps of the World at War ones is that mule kick was added. Go with the KRM pack punched. Yeah, they <laughs> got a pack punched weapon. We're double tap as well. Just need speed color and we're golden. I had the ray gun in the World at War version and I actually got hit by a zombie and then accidentally downed myself as well. The ray gun mark 2 actually is in all the Chronicle maps. So we surely got to get it at least once. I should have added crate power actually to that one as well. Wall power and crate power. The thing is, with the World at War maps, it was only a maximum of 25 zombies could spawn around. So, 25 zombies, and that was it, that was the cap. Like, it wouldn't be 25 zombies, you kill them all, and then another load come. No, it'd literally just be 25 as soon as it hits its heights. That would be there. Oh, dingo again. Revive or speed killer, please. Oh, speed killer. Oh, hello. Oh. Actually, three three spins and we've got three perks that I wanted. Just need quick revive now, so we have the safety net perk. I mean, if I don't do better than round 13, then there's a problem here. Because, I mean, there are perks available to get in this map. And, you know, highest round in this actually was like round 30 something as well. 35, I think it was. I haven't had to do any takes so far, like any of any of literally every zombie map I've played or Black Ops 3. I've had to I haven't like had like a really bad game where I've, and I've had to like restart. Quick revive. Wow. Four spins and I got all the perks I wanted.
Dingo Bingo makes its presence felt. I, most of the maps I've had this gun in. I think it was just Guard Crovy that it hasn't made an appearance yet. Yeah, I'm, the thing is, Black Ops 3, I'm having a lot of good performances now, but I'm going to be honest with Infinite Warfare and World War 2, Black Ops 4, uh, Cold War and Vanguard, I don't know how well I'm going to do. I don't really know, uh, I don't know the maps as well as all the maps I've played thus far. I didn't actually know any of the Advanced Warfare maps, uh, to be fair. And I kicked bottom on that one. I mean, Outbreak, the proper first time playing it solo, I got around 20. Infection, I got around 21. <laughs> and uh, Carrier got around 25. And yeah, Descent, I only got around 13, but that was only because of that stupid boss arena thing that I just did not sign up for. Reagan Mark II, maybe, or Thunder Gun. Or we'll get the L car. Not my first choice, I'll be honest. Again, I mean, it's cheaper than what I could have got the Locust for, so. Round 13 is the round to beat. Get low on dingo bingo ammo. Dingo bingo. Ooh. The bootlegger. This is actually on Shadows of Evil, but I didn't actually use it. It's because it's in the tram. And in the box. It is in the box as well. But. I didn't. Uh, yeah. The boot. <laughs> Pretty solid weapon. Didn't use it in Shadows of Evil because, as I said, it's either in the box. But I didn't spend the box that many times. I don't think. I can't remember spending it that many times. But yeah, you can also—it's on the wall, but it's in the uh, tram, as I said. And double points, you say? Another max ammo. I'd rather the max ammo be nicely spread out. I will be absolutely surprised if I don't get past from 13 at least. I mean, with packs, better guns if we're being blunt there, there wasn't that many good guns in World of War. I mean Black Ops 3 there isn't really a bad gun, not really. Not really any bad guns at all, a lot of them do good work. Ooh, break you down. Some else is in here. Is that the 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 the, dro the drogan is it? The drogan? Drogan, I think it's it. Horrendously slow. Does a lot of damage, but it's just slow at shooting. I have two shotguns. I just realised.
saving the, uh, the KRM for the moment. Bootleggery. <laughs> okay, and I used it in the last one. It's on the wall up there anyway. Let's use the bootlegger again because I just love using this. Ah, it's a, as I said, it's a decent gun. Do one box location as well. It says right there. Let's just do one more spin. But for then, then we won't do another one this round until the end of it. Yeah, mate. Nah, I'm good. I'll keep the boot logo. It's great when it gives you a death machine, but then when it gives you a bloody nuke at the same time, you're like, eh. So both are great, but you'd like them at a separate time. Alright, round 13 is what I got last time. Ooh, the HPK. Let's just see if we can get I just want to try and see if they get the funding, because I haven't actually used the Thunder Gun yet. No, no, that's the... It's not the Thunder Gun, that is the MX-53. Rocket launcher. Beat it. Yeah, I'll take the CUDA, <laughs> my diamond camera. <laughs> yeah, I, I put a lot of work into the multiplayer. Yeah, I'll take the CUDA for this round. I've always got, as I said, I've still got this. I haven't even touched yet. The uh, the KR, is it the KRM, isn't it? Yeah, with fun pack also with speed color, it helps you build up barriers quicker as well.
Oh, the music's playing. That's the Easter egg if you destroy all the barrels. BMP. That thing goes back for round two in round 15. K74, you do I want it? I don't know. No, I'll leave it for now. I'll go with the dingo. Could um it's alright, but I'll take the seventy four you now. Time. Vesper time. Yeah, I'll go with the K in this round.
round 18 is not too bad, so done. Bootlegger again now, we'll just stick with what we got here. Yeah, I think it's around 20, that would be ideal. Nice, round 20. Just a decent amount of points, but... We can get to around 25, but we can do that. I gotta get the thunder gun on key, thunder gun, thunder gun on key now or um, ascension though. It's also on this map as well, but it doesn't know if I'm gonna get it. The analytic gives me a third choice weapon. Ah, that is not happening.
easy with specialist weapon. It's actually an unorthodox third weapon. to get near me yet. It's right next to me anyway, so... Okay. Two more rounds and we'll get to round 25. Yeah, just to be safe. We got so many points anyway, we can afford it.
do this. I say we, it's, it's just me. Yes, we've actually done it. Around 25. Only took four perks and a pack of punch. Shotgun. Hey ho. You can use that. Just hear the round change music. Okay, we're going to end this one here. Round 25. 45 minutes. Not too bad here. So, anyway, yeah, I'm going to leave this one here. It's not the quickest one. Shino Numero Mod was the quickest, though, in 37 minutes. Law. <laughs> So anyway, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye.